hey guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time on this channel thank you so much for stopping by please subscribe like share and comment if you've been here before thank you so much for sticking with me i really do appreciate it and i hope that the contents on this channel will go a long way to simplify your journey into tech if there is a content you're dying to see something that i'm yet to cover please feel free to leave it in the comment section below. I'm happy to take a look, find the answers for you and put it forward on this channel to help you and to help everyone else who may have the same question. Remember, no question is a stupid question. So guys, as I've always said, there is space for everyone in tech. What I'm here to do is to encourage you to find that perfect job for you where you wake up every day happy and excited to go out there to add value to the lives of people and businesses having said that guys um today we're just going to talk about planning the importance of planning and how planning will go a long way to make this journey much more seamless for you but before we dive right into that i just want to give you a little bit of an update as to what has been happening with myself work life okay so um this i've been in tech now for it's going to five months almost five months i am so excited because you all know how it started it was all like a joke like a dream like a dream and here we are i am more confident now than ever i currently work mainly with python um, angular which is a javascript framework for the front end and um, a lot of other tools in between and I couldn't have been more happier because I've always loved Python. It's, it's, it's something that I noticed about myself a um, few months into um, taking tutorials and all. I find that I really, really love Python. And at times when I did the many different interviews I did, I always chose Python as the one um, language, as the one programming language that I would like to solve my algorithm questions with. And I'm glad that I'm beginning to learn a lot more about Python and how Python is much more powerful than I thought previously. All right, so that is a little bit of update about my work. Moving forward about life, I shared in a previous video that we moved to a new city. So we're just currently settling in okay. It's quite sunny this time of year in south of England and um, I am so excited looking forward to the summer and it just goes a long way to tell you how much you can achieve if you put your mind to it if you're determined to reach your goal and I'm going to talk about what I mean by that in a separate video I don't want to make this video about me so um, talking about goals today we're going to be talking about planning and how planning could help you achieve your goal when you decide to switch your careers from a non-technical background into tech most people in your life may think you're going crazy why would you want to do that you know so my job here is to try to minimize the risks involved along the way for you and one way to do that is to have a solid plan Yes, you might not really have everything figured out from the from the beginning, but planning goes a long way to make this journey as seamless as can be. You know, with the passion and the energy, it's easy for you to just jump into doing without actually planning. You know, taking tutorials, taking classes online, boot camps, and all whatnot. But if you don't actually have a goal, how do you know when you've achieved what you set out to achieve, if you know what I mean? So the reason I was able to know, you know, the time when I needed to start applying to jobs and the times when I was ready to sit for face to face interviews was because I had my goals written down. And at each, at each of the stages, I knew what I was expecting myself to cover or to achieve and I knew when I achieved that. So today I'm just going to walk you through some of the reasons why planning is important. And as somebody who is looking to change careers from a career that you're very, very used to into one that you 
you're basically still navigating planning how planning could make it more you know much more rewarding for you and i'm hoping that you take out something out of this video and if you're someone who you know you're not looking to switch into tech you're not looking to make any changes in your life you've just come across this video on youtube fine you're welcome planning can be applied to any area of life so feel free to take any tips out of this video and try to apply that to your personal or professional life having said that guys i also would want to mention that i asked on linkedin for people in my network who may have any tips for you on how you could plan better to tell me and i will tell you i will give credit to them so i got two people who has given who have given me um, tips that have helped them grow in terms of planning and i will be sharing that with you today moving on guys the very first one i want to talk about is planning helps you set the right goals when you're trying to you know navigate the tech space as a beginner um you know there are lots of energy there are lots of information how do you digest all this information and take out the ones that you actually do need the ones that will benefit you how do you know when you've learned what you said you were going to learn so my advice to you is say for example you're going into tech to try to be a front-end developer because you've read about it you've researched about it and you think it's something that you're really passionate about it would be nice if you said i want to learn html in one month i want to learn css in one month and i want to learn javascript in three months now if you spell out these goals it would be easy for you to measure it because if you said you were going to learn html in one month you expect yourself at the end of one month to be able to use html to a certain degree be able to use html to build the backbone of web pages and you can measure that so that's like a smart goal i've heard people say um i want to get my first job in tech in three months well i'm not judging you but the thing is that is a very big goal to have because you need to break things down so that you know what you're working towards when you clump things up together at some point you're not really sure if you're making progress or not so my advice to you is set clear goals it's not really about the tiny tiny details it's about naming your goals and your objective so that at any point in time you know the goal you're working towards and you need to also spell out how you will know that you've achieved your goal if you're aiming to learn javascript how will you know how will you measure that you've now at this point completed that which you said you were going to accomplish you need to set these things out from the beginning it might seem like a lot of work but in the end it saves you a lot of time saves you a lot of cost and it saves you from wasting so much time running about the internet and taking tutorials about things that you shouldn't even be worried about at this stage in your career moving forward guys the second one i want to talk to you about is planning helps you improve decision making and what i mean by this is when you plan you have your eyes constantly set on the goal when you don't plan you know things get thrown at you information get thrown at you and you're kind of trying to absorb everything at the same time and it weighs you down the today you're working towards javascript tomorrow you're working in Python. you're learning python and the next day you're working towards you know web3 and how to be a blockchain engineer there is nothing wrong with that except that when you are all over the place it's so hard for you to keep up there is so much information out there there is so much to learn so making decisions as to what to learn when to learn you know how much you need to spend how much time you need to spend the resources who are the right people to connect to the network and all of that when you're making all those decisions it is very easy for you to make those decisions if you have plans if you have goals that you're working towards because if i'm working towards becoming a front-end developer i know that i need to 
have people in my network i need to connect with people who are front-end developers i need to you know attend conferences that are meant for people in front-end development i need to be part of communities online you know with people who are passionate about front-end development like i know where i'm going to at every point in time i'm not all over the place and just wondering why things are not working for me so planning or planning yeah planning helps you make the right decision which is essential in this line of work the third one i want to talk to you about is planning helps boost your motivation if there is one thing i've learned since switching my career into tech a little over a year ago is um, i've learned that motivation is really important you know there is so much going on in our lives um, that trying to take on something as massive as learning from scratch to go on to a different career field you know it just makes it much much intense so you need motivation you know in a previous video i said you need that you need to spell out your motivation in my case i spelled out my motivation why i needed to switch careers into tech you know, I spelled it out, I printed it off in an A4 paper and I had that posted and pasted on a wall where I could see that every morning. Now, the reason why it would go a long way to motivate you is when you're working towards your goal, every single time you have a checkpoint where you check that you're actually achieving that which you said you're going to achieve. Achieving that goal or achieving the objective among all your goals will go a long way to imbue you with confidence you know you know things are working you know you're working towards the right direction you know that according to your plan in the next six months this is where you should be in the next six months i should be job ready i should be in interview ready working towards your goal and you know seeing the checkpoints and how you're meeting all your checkpoints and passing all your expectations or at least reaching your expectations is a very big boost to whatever it is you're feeling because most people who are switching into tech most people may have jobs already most people may not have jobs already so you 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 want to get into tech and you want to be hired so that you can be able to make some money take care of yourself take care of your family do the things you love and care about so having a plan will help you know at what stage you're confident that you can then go on to the next stage so it gives you that confidence it gives you that motivation you need and more than ever i have personal experiences around this particular um this particular point that i would like to share you know but for the want of time I'm just going to make it something I'll talk about in a future video, hopefully, um, if I remember. Well, I hope I remember. Having said that, guys, the very last one I want to talk to you about is um, planning allows for strategic positioning. Um, what I mean by this is when you plan, you need to take stock of what you already know, what you already have, and you know what you don't have and what you don't know and if you take stock and you're being honest with yourself you can see that okay I, I i have good teamwork skills but i actually do not have good communication skills that's where you know what to focus your energy on to try to improve that way you know where you need to spend your time on um also i like to also think that you need to put yourself out there you know have your social media have your linkedin properly set up so that people can meet you and get to learn about you without necessarily having to call you on phone to ask you oh, um, which university did you go to or um, what type of job are you looking for you need to set up your linkedin properly so knowing how to put yourself forward knowing the things you have and the things you don't have knowing the things that are required for the job you're going for and being able to put the skills to reflect the skills in your profile will go a long way to like get you what you want much more quicker um say for example um you obviously want 
you obviously want a job in tech and say um you do not have good communication skill and you don't know that you don't have good communication skill every time you speak to people every time you try to connect with people you might wonder why they do not keep in touch you might wonder why you easily lose you know the people you're trying to pull into your network um, and that's something that planning does for you it highlights the issues you need to pay attention to planning helps you highlight the things that need your time the most and it just makes you know where to work and where to focus on and this has really helped me so much um when i first got my job um one of the things i started working on was learning how to work with people from diverse backgrounds and you know different levels of experience how to behave as part of a team it, it got so serious for me that i had to sort a mentor to just mentor me on how to be a great team player how to understand people how to speak to people how to Im 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 you know imbibe like emotional intelligence and everything that has to everything that is involved with being a great team player and it really helps me because now when i look at where i am i am much more confident in myself i'm very you know comfortable as a part of a team and and every single time that i'm contributing as part of a team i'm so proud not for my achievement but for our achievement and i enjoy it it's so fulfilling so i i strongly believe that planning telling yourself the things you're good at and the things you're not good at will go a long way to really simplify the journey for you um finally to mention some of the tips that i've been told um someone in my network um i will put her name on the screen has mentioned that it's a good idea for you to try using tools such as a trailer board a trailer board is um a free kanban board that is available to anyone on the internet um i kanban is an agile way of working you can read more about that i did plan on bringing a future video about um, on agile work and methodologies but i just want to make sure that we've covered the basics before jumping that far away okay so she has advised that planning and using a kanban board to know or visualize what you're currently doing and what you need to do and what you have now completed can go a long way to give you visual on the progress you're making where you need more effort and where you can improve upon and i actually do agree with her because when i was you know working trying to learn all this um all the software and um, skills i needed to be able to work well in my job this was around last year i was still looking for a job in tech i remember setting up a kanban board because a mentor told me about it i signed up to trello i, I set up my board and i was able to track my progress even places that i applied to i was able to just have a column for jobs applied and I, I would put the name of the company under the under the board on that particular column and kind of put the stage of the assessments that i've gotten into so when i look at the board i can tend to have an idea of where i am what i'm doing and what i could do better so that is the first tip the second tip i want to talk about was shared by a friend i'll put his name down below he said in terms of planning he's found that setting out some time some quiet time to like really reflect on things and why you're doing things can go a long way to spur you know questions in your mind and make you sit back and actually be objective about the decisions you're making the plans you're making and this 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 is something that really at some point applied to me with so much noise and so much distraction is easy for you to just kind of swing with the cloud with the cloud and then move with the crowd um but remember that this is about you setting some time in private to think about what you really want for yourself not because everyone else is switching into tech what you want for yourself why you want to do it that motivation and actually then going ahead to set out a path to achieving your goal so whenever you're doing this you're doing this for you you're not doing this for somebody else you're not doing this because everyone is suddenly talking about tech you're doing this because this is something you're passionate about so the having that quiet time with yourself could go a long way 
to tell you if this is for you or not for you and that is thanks to planning so guys that is all from me today i hope you really enjoyed this episode <laughs> but if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below i'm happy to always read your questions and answer them thank you so much for your time do take care bye